Hello guys. I'm back. In this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to mix like a legit pro, since a lot of you guys requested me to make a mixing tutorial. So first, I'll show you the preview of the mix I made, so that you guys understand that I mix well. I hope so haha. <laughs> Now that you guys heard my mix, let me explain the main aspects of mixing. Mixing is basically balancing all the sounds, so that they complement each other. Now, I'm gonna give you guys some tips, to maintain a good mix. Number 1. Always stay under the peaking line, that is 0 decibels. If you cross that, your sound will distort. I always like to keep my mix very low. It is advised that you mix in low volumes. As if you can make it sound clear on low volume, it's gonna sound even better on high volumes. Number 2. Try to mix as much as you can in buses. They are not only efficient and fast, but also so much easy. I always like to make buses for my leads, chords, basses and drums. After you've done the grouping stuff, you need to use EQ. Basically, EQ is cutting all the unnecessary frequencies. I always like to cut low frequencies from everything except kick and sub. You think that there aren't too much low frequencies, but trust me, it helps a lot. For example, I've cut the low frequencies from leads, chords, and basses here. For the leads, I've only left the highs. For chords, I've left a bit of the lows and highs. And for the basses, I've cut the extreme lows for the sub bass and also cut the highs to leave space for the leads and chords. After the EQ is done, we should use compression. Basically, compression is compressing the sound to make it more even. I only like to use compressor and buses to make the sounds even. I've seen most people turn the dials randomly and hope for the best, or they pick this preset, known as drum punch. But today, I'll teach you an easy way to compress and make sounds even. First turn the threshold to 0 decibels, so that no compression takes place. Make the ratio between 2 to 0 to 1 and 10 to 0 to 1, depending upon how harsh you want the compression to be. I basically use 2 to 5 to 1 for gluing sounds, as it fits my needs most of the time. Now keep the attack, hold and release as it is, or you can tweak it to your needs. Then slowly turn the threshold down until you hear a bit of compression and you find the compression helpful. The next important thing is side chain. I always side chain my leads, chords, basses and sub bass whenever the kick hits. This allows the kick to pop out and whenever the kick stops, all the melodic instruments pop out. This gives a very nice pumping feeling. But you should not side chain everything the same. For example, since kick and bass have same frequencies, they need to be side-chained more. Leads don't have the exact frequencies as the kick, so we can side-chain it a little bit less. This is how I've side-chained the leads and bass. Now that the side-chain is done, we should handle the stereo imaging stuff. Basically, sounds should be kept in different stereo images. So what to keep in stereo? My answer to it is always keep the low frequencies in mono and all the high frequencies in stereo. Since there is no way to make sounds mono in FL Studio Mobile, we should pick sounds that are already mono. For the stereo part, we can use Stereoizer. Basically I keep my leads and chords in stereo. Just a small advice, don't overdo stereoizing or your song will start having phasing issues. So try to have it as little as possible, and that's it guys. I explained all the main aspects of mixing in as detail as possible. I didn't want to do an hour long video, so if you think I missed any aspect, feel free to comment down. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments. And if you want to get feedback on your song or mix, you can join my discord server and ask me. Link of the server will be in the description. See you later.